right now it's smelting season. It's my sister Jeline's net. There's the mighty captain herself. <laughs> there we have the crewmen and the waiters. My nephew Thomas. These are some of our local young men down here catching smelts down at Scandinavian Beach. One of our good fall time activities. In the summertime, people set out their salmon nets along this beach and catch their king salmon and redfish. In the wintertime, we dig holes in the ice on the river. But in the fall, before the ice freezes, this is how they do it. My grandparents fished on this beach when I was growing up. I came out here from the time I was about five years old. And I'd come down every summer and help my grandmother pick the net and clean the net. We had a little clock on the shelf in our living room that told us when the tide was high and when the tide was low. And I'd watch that clock and wait for that clock to go to low twice a day so I could remind her it's time to go check the net. Oh, see how much fish we catch. It's see Richie's net. There it is. Oh, pulling the net back in. The memories we have are always going to be with us. And the things that Graham has taught us, or any of our old elders, we'd like to think that they're we'll be able to carry some of um, some of their wisdom you know forward for the other generations this is truly as a lot of family members said god's country um you know and something that's it's it's incredible i'm hanging inch and three quarter smelt gear and probably get the bigger smelts okay. you get you know inch and a half and you'll get the smaller ones but this is for bigger ones when i was fishing probably Five hours. Mm. Oh, can of smelt beans, sardines. We'll just set out the net, get the fish for smoking, canning, drying, making kipper. But we don't have to go far to get our subsistence. 